would say it's really a combination of factors. It's the high quality resource, it's having a sustainable growth plan, but it's really all about the, uh, the people. Uh, we have some incredibly talented people that are innovative and they really have a can-do attitude and, and for us what that creates is really a fun paced, fast moving company. People just enjoy doing what they do and, and I think it really boils down to if people are happy and productive you have success. I think I get inspired by just the people I work around. I, you know, I think of Meg as being in the first inning and we've got a long ways to go. And so by having great people around you, it's exciting to think of where this team can really go and take the company. And it's not only about where the people can take the company, but it's a lot about where the company can take the people and I think also in how it contributes back to Canada. I get motivated by being surrounded by these great people and also I, I think at the end of the day how exciting it is, not for what we've created thus far, but really where the company's going into the future. That is exciting. Well, it's been an interesting year when we, with the fall of oil prices and uh, if I looked at it from an internal perspective, what we're doing right now from the company is we're, we're looking at, we're improving efficiencies, we're positioning ourselves for growth at lower oil prices. If I looked at it from a macro level, some of the key challenges are, that we're facing are really about the perception and information that's out there regarding the oil sands. You know, we've made some tremendous technological improvements in the industry over the last few years uh, towards moving towards some of the, developing some of the cleanest barrels on, on the earth, and yet we now need to get out there and be proud of these accomplishments. We need to get out, talk to our neighbors on them. We need to, to create a dialogue that goes across the entire country so that, that this information can get out. As I say, the people that are involved in it at the technological end, they're excited, they're passionate, they see the improvements from an environmental footprint, yet we haven't told that story. That's what we need to do.